What's up my YouTube family, Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 video and today is actually a follow up to a video I put out last Friday where I went over the fact that you could farm unlimited bosses in the summit and one thing I failed to mention is that this is also one of the most efficient ways to try to get the big horn in the game because it is a legendary drop. Now we know at this point in the game you could get it from a legendary stronghold or you can now get it in the dark zone as well. However in my opinion, and to be very clear this is based on my own personal game play and my luck with the game for me the summit has definitely been the best and actually the only way I've ever seen this weapon drop so starting with a quick walkthrough when you get to the summit the first thing you're obviously going to do is set it to legendary now as far as your targeted loot goes in theory you can set your targeted loot to whatever you want because it is in the legendary loot pool I've talked to a lot of different players who have actually set their targeted loot to something completely different and they have gotten the big horn to drop now in my own experience I've only seen it drop on a saw rifle but I know for a fact it can drop in any of the different categories you have again because it is in the legendary loot pool now with that put aside this has to do with a floor 10 farming method and to be clear this can be done on any 10th floor in the summit it does not matter if you do 10 20 30 70 80 90 it's completely up to you and once again to be very clear this is not considered an exploit or a cheat you will not get in trouble for doing this whatsoever my friends one thing I've always promised you at the channel as I would never put anything out there that would ever put your account in danger in any way, shape, or form. This is a farming tool that has been in the game since the summit came out. The devs are well aware, and I do not think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. So anyway, getting back to the footage, you can see I've chosen to do this on floor 10. That just happens to be my favorite spot. Now, the goal is this. When you first get to the beginning of the floor, there's going to be a wave of NPCs. You're going to take out some of them, and then you will see the named boss show up. And the most important aspect of this farm is is that you do not clear the floor entirely. I cannot stress that enough because if you do, you are not going to be able to refarm this spot over and over. So your goal should be to take out the named boss, pick up the loot, and at that point, you're going to fast travel back to the lobby. And then my friends, you can go back up to floor 10 as many times in a row as you like. It is completely and totally up to you. Now, a few more important details. First of all, and this is for those of you that may be watching this video right now and you're not on any of the 10th floors. What I recommend doing is this. Set your difficulty to normal. Make your way to one of the 10th floors, whichever one you're targeting, 10, 20, 30, again, it doesn't really matter. At that point, you will fast travel back to the lobby, set it to legendary, start to farm, and I hope, my friends, you have nothing but the best of luck. One final thing I want to mention really quick, and again, this is just my opinion or recommendation. You can do anything you want in this game, but I always hear from people when they see these videos, and they mention the fact that they were farming for three, four, five hours straight, and they never got the legendary to drop. Now, in my opinion, that is the fastest way to get completely and totally burnt out from this game because it's going to drive you mad if you do something for that long and do not see the results. So what I do is I'll play for 30 minutes. If I have luck, great. If not, I'll go do something else and come back later. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know. And as I start to wrap this up, remember what you're seeing on screen is my picking up a bighorn. But what you're not seeing is the three to four hour farming process it took to actually get this thing. And again, I did break it up into cycles because I I do not want to lose my mind. So once again, my fellow agents, remember it all boils down to luck. I know people that have gotten it in strongholds. I know people that have gotten it to drop in the dark zone. It all depends on the luck you have in your gameplay. And like I said before, I wish you nothing but the best. With all that being said, I'm going to start to wrap this up. I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. And as I say at the end of every video, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.